Hello everyone, welcome back to Know It Today and in this video we will see how we can install ShedCN in Next.js 15. So what is ShedCN? ShedCN is a UI library. No, it's not a UI library, not a component library, but it's a collection of reusable components that we can copy and paste in our apps. Simple. So let's say someone has created some components and you can directly use them. Isn't it wonderful? So yeah, like with component library, you will have to get all the components from the library like MUI okay or Andy but here you get only those component that you want to use in your project and you can easily customize them because you get the code directly and this is the essence of it now let's see how we can install it so we are on doing it on Next.js uh, I have already created a Next.js project okay so now we need to do this so I'm going to show you the default one not with the default like i'm going to show you the one without the defaults okay you can pass d flag for default settings these are the default settings for these places that you get to see you are asked question to gen like generate these components file so let's install this way i will go with npm i'll do this new york so to see the themes, right, uh, what we can do is I go to themes to see which one suits me. I go to customize for you, New York, it events like this, like font changes and uh, uh, the size of the font also increases with default. Zinc, gray, these are the different themes. I find zinc the best for me. Yeah, cool. So we'll select zinc. Yes, we need CSS variables for theming. And here we run into the error. So the problem is here. Yeah. So dependency, right? These are the dependencies for uh, like uh, shared scene. Shared scene internally uses Redix UI for the icons. Okay. And uh, it is not able to install it due to the React version being used as 19. I can show you here in package.json react 19 rc is getting used in uh, next.js 15 right now so what we can do is to install it we need to do npx and the command is i guess pl legacy devs okay so we need to do this uh, here it might have shown legacy pl devs Peer devs. So legacy peer devs will do and run the npx command with this and then see. It will ask us to remove this component.json file because it has to run it again. I will remove it and let's do it again. New York sync. Yes. So yeah, it's done. Now let's see what's the next step. We'll go here. So let's pick up a button. Button is a very basic component that we might need on our project. And it is pulling up the button and it might be pulling it in inside SRC. Lip is there. Okay. So with every command, we'll have to do npx with legacy peer devs this is until we get a proper resolution from tail uh, shadsian they will also evolve it for next 15 but till then we have to use it and i think it's pretty safe this way so no problem with that so let's try to add the button in our project and page i'll remove everything from here let's run it first let's run it first npm run dev so 
so yeah we come to localhost this is how it is looking and i'll remove all this and just add a button so it will pick from here we have to pick it from components so this is how we will get the button click me yeah so we have added a component and we can like easily customize it now so that's how you use tail uh, shad cn i am continuously speaking tailwind instead of shad cn but yeah that's how you use shad cn and let's see how the component is you see this is how it looks like and we can easily customize directly here the variants there are variants and let's say which variant default destructive outline let's see variant is equal to default let's say it's destructive okay now if i need to change some class of destructive let's say uh, these are classes tailwind classes so bg destructive instead of that i can say bg white and let's see it's white and i can say text black text black is not working because okay this is overriding this one yeah so that's how easy it is to customize in sets a set scene component i hope you like this video and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video and if any query you get you can also comment it down also you can comment down uh, if this video helped you subscribe to the channel more stuff coming soon bye bye